Let's get weird. You like getting weird, don't you? I do. Yeah. Have you listened to Black and Abdallah? Uh, yeah. You guys don't get weird. I mean, yeah, sometimes. Weird is uh, he arrived from Florida on a jet ski loaded with guns to commit violent acts, a Cuban official says. That's weird. Depends on your definition of weird. Well, when was the last time you guys had one of those conversations or we stories? We tend to uh, stay in our lane when it comes to conversations. Weird? Yeah. Like, what is your lane? Zoo news. Okay. Well, we report on news of the zoo. I got a news uh, a zoo news item for you. Go what ahead. Are we, what are we infringing? Now you're infringing on my turf. Uh, so? <laughs> I don't give a rat's ass. AI robots. I got one of those too. We do that. We do a hey, lot of robots. Can robot you play, stuff. Uh, Jack? Do you get the Zoo News uh, open? You got a Zoo News open? Kill I got the Waddles World open. Do you want to? You want to do? Com- you want to do competing Zoo News stories? Yes, because I have it. a Zoo News. Let's do it. Zoo news. I stay first. I stay locked and loaded Mine with is Zoo News. Do, right. you, do you have an AI story as well? I or do. A, a robot I just, story. I just make sure I always have boom, a Zoo News story. Boom, 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 boom. On my thing. I don't think he has it. Jack, do you have it? I can play it if my screen is up. Get your screen up. Go right. ahead, do it. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get to. Oh, Jack's this. too busy in there putting money down on the Canadian men's <laughs> Olympic basketball team. All right, you gotta ask me the question, or Tyler. I don't know if you, you do you listen. Do you, do you know? I do listen, but right. I don't know. I'll, what I'll, the I'll throw it to Tyler. Is. Tyler. Adam, you got any Zoo News for well, us? Of course I have Zoo News. Well, hello, Mr. Lion. Here's the latest edition of the Zoo News. A hyena was recaptured at the zoo after escape in Nigeria. Officials at the state of Plateau, Nigeria, said a hyena that escaped from a zoo was safely recaptured and returned to the facility. The Plateau State Tourism Corporation issued a public alert Monday warning residents near the Jos Wildlife Park in the state capital that a hyena was on the loose can I after ask escaping from its enclosure. Of course you can. Why Why do they have hyenas at zoos? Because people want to see hyenas. I don't want to see a hyena. Hyena, or, or they're, they're bad animals. That's fine. They are kind of dirt animals. Yeah. Uh, here's the statement. The management of Plateau State Tourism Corporation make would a, like to make inform... Make a hyena sound. Play the role of John Schriffen and the whoever the, the White Sox player who has the nickname hyena mm-hmm. hits a home run. Hyena. <laughs> that was horrible. It's just awful. <laughs> the missing hyena has been found, tranquilized, captured, and safely returned to its enclosure. We deeply appreciate the general public for remaining calm and cooperative. This greatly assisted they, this greatly assisted in the search and rescue of the animal, and we thank the public. Because, Waddle, we report on the news of the zoos, but we know that the animals, they don't like being in the zoo. Let us out, let us out, let us out, let us out. The zoo is overloaded. And so they try to escape, but it's our job is the public to inform the officials that they have escaped. So if, so if you did assist in this information, if you're listening to us in Nigeria, thank you. And that's what's new at the zoo. That's what is new at the zoo. That's better right there. That's Shriffin. <laughs> did, he, did he say something again last night? I heard the guys talking about it this morning. Did he say uh, stand up Sox fans or something like that when they won the first game of the doubleheader yesterday? The south side stand up. Did we get that? I don't know. Do I, we need how it? do you feel about the uh, like I said to the guys? I think I'm the only one that I I I think that the La Pantera growl is great. Like that team's not worth. I, I watch them now to see if they'll make more animal noises. I um I want to say this in the most respectful way possible. No, you don't. To, no, you uh, don't. I don't care. I don't care what they do. Because I listen to the games on ESPN Chicago. I know, but if you're sitting in front of your television and you have it on for some reason. It is muted. Is that because you are listening to ESPN 1000 Chicago? No, it's probably because because I'm watching something else on another TV. Why are you being difficult? No, seriously, I don't like watching baseball with sound. Either team, either I don't like, I I don't need it. I don't need it. There's other stuff on. Baseball's a background. Baseball's in the background. My zoo news uh, story, I think, is better. Hold on, hold on. Waddle, do you have any zoo news? I do. Well, hello, Mr. Lion. Here's the latest edition of the zoo news. Uh, Hippopotamuses. Potomai. No, no. I know. Hippopotamuses can become airborne for substantial periods of time, researchers discover. This is an animal story. This is not zoo news. Well, I wonder what's new with the zoo, baby. Uh, but the hippopotamus resides at the zoo. Not all of them. Some of them do. Some of them. Yeah. Same with hyenas, though. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to argue semantics and say that this is an animal story. So you're not infringing on my territory. Please proceed. 
I think this story's better than your story. That's fair. Like, who gives a rat's ass about a, a zoo in Kenya that has a... Nigeria. Nigeria that had a, a hyena misplaced. Our, our listeners in Nigeria? Uh, researchers by the uh, Royal Veterinarian College found that an- these animals can be up in the air for up to 0.3 seconds at a time when moving fast. 0.3 seconds? It's a hippopotamus. I think anything above zero is is probably... They've got legs, though. They can jump. The findings found that unlike other land animals, such as elephants, horses, and rhinos, hippos exclusively trot when moving, pushing the limits of what giant land animals can actually do. As part of the research, it monitored video footage taken mm-hmm. of two hippos moving around their paddock at Flamingo Land Resort in Yorkshire, which happens to be a zoo. All right, well, that's what is new at the zoo. We were pleasantly surprised to see how hippos get airborne when they move quickly. It's really impressive. Uh, two things I know about hippopotamus. They're douches. Why? They're mean. Uh, hippos well, are mean, you dude. infringe on their territory. No, hippos are mean. Hippos they are, are notoriously actually, mean. I believe they are responsible for more yes. human deaths than any other animal. They don't move when they swim In the either. wild. Did you know that? What do they do? They, they swim fast. They don't move though. Because they're so heavy, they don't they just kind of glide through the water. How do you glide without they, look you it have up. to be propelled? Look it up. That doesn't look make it, sense. Look it doesn't. It up. You have to be physics do not make sense. You have to look this up. I, get I read it. this last I get it. week. Okay. They have to at least they shift have, their weight. Yes, because look. you have to propel yourself. You think those tiny little legs are moving? I don't know. They're I don't not. know what it is. They're not. They don't just get in the water and all of a sudden they go fast. It's like an airplane. An airplane can glide, but it is propelled. Their bodies are far too dense from float, so they move around by simply uh, walking along the riverbed in a slow motion gallop and then touching the water, and that's what moves them. They don't need, to, they don't need like extra motion. They just go. That makes no sense. I'm just telling you what's on the paper. Yeah, but you're not interpreting what's on the paper correctly. They don't just sit in a pool and all of a sudden, without making any type of movement, they just propel. They would float to the, or they would sink to the bottom. Hippos can't actually swim. This is yeah, what I'm, I'm reading. This. USA From Today. Animal Planet. Thank you. Hippos can't swim. Despite spending a lot of time in rivers and lakes, hippos cannot breathe underwater or float either, according to National so Geographic. So how do they move in the water? They're so dense and buoyant that they just move. I'm sorry that you guys can't comprehend the way hippos swim. I don't know how, the, how do they move. Like, here, here, Adam. How do I move? You're not a hippo. You're I, not in the water. I get it, but I don't You're care. You're a former bear sitting in a radio studio. Okay, but my point is, is that regardless of what the animal or creature is, if that animal, how quickly do don't they move in the me. water? Yell at USA Today. Yell at Animal Planet. Jack, Jack, Google how fast do hippos move in the water. If you want to call it swim, swim. You want to call it propel, propel, whatever it is. Have you ever seen a hippo f- chasing a boat? It's not just that they got into a, a, into a lake and all of a well, sudden... Well, then they're touching the ground then. Then when they attack the boat, it's because the boat's Jack, up, up close. Help me out here, Jack. Tyler, help me. Pull up a video of, of uh, hop, uh, hippopotamuses swimming, moving fast, chasing boats. There's not a lot be, of... Uh, it might be in a low a low tide zone. Thank you. That doesn't make any sense. Because then their feet can touch the ground. Their feet right. can touch right. the ground. There's That's not a not lot of uh, research that I've found readily available on how fast hippos can swim. Well, but you're not homework, much help, Jack. But homework.study.com says they can swim at five miles per I hour. I will say. But that I sounds very fun. Planet, there's a fast. whole video on Animal Planet that says that they can't swim. That they just glide, they just go. They just, they're so buoyant and so dense because they're big, so they just go. I'm watching this video yeah. of a hippo. That thing looks like it's just jumping in and out of the water, yes, though. Yes, like a mermaid. You believe in mermaids? Sure, why not? Like, I, that's it, not swimming. Like, that's you know hopping. It what it does, it, what it does is look it like almost, a real video. Either. Look, that video it, looks extremely doctored. It looks like a, a dolphin swimming, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. By the way, did you see this? What? Elon Musk's Neuralink prepares for second human trial, aims at a superpower capability 
by putting a chip into your brain? Yeah, he's been wanting to do this for a minute. He I'm not has putting, been doing it. This is the second time. I'm not putting chips in my brain. What if it gave you the capacity to do things no. that you can't do? No, because the people, because then you, I always look for the bad in a situation. Always. Always. And someone's going to hack that system and get all, and switch our brains and then we're all going to be would controlled. You, would you do it if you had an issue with paralysis or something that didn't allow you to function in a manner in which you would like to function? Would you then consider a brain, a chip implant in your brain? I y would. Yeah, because at that point, yeah, probably, yes. So you've now changed your mind. No, no, no. I think this is, like, if I, like, I am a... A full, like a, a, a fully functional human right now, which right? Is, which is debatable. Fair. I can walk, is what I'm saying. I can also swim, unlike hippos. And so I'm not putting something in my brain to just so I can get my email, right? Yeah, that's different. If like I, my dad, I told you a story. My dad said this decades and decades ago. He said to me, we were just driving around Cincinnati. I don't know where we were going. He said, you know, someday they're going to be able to just put like a computer chip behind your ear and you're going to be able to voice activate like talking into a phone. They, you there weren't even that. cell phones yeah. back then. Mm -hmm. He was just talking regular yeah. phones. Yeah. But if I, yes, if, I, if, if, if given a situation, you can, I, what do you think Alexa and I'm Siri are? You know, I'm talking without your, you don't have to have a phone. Oh, okay. I got you. Um, Phone's in your head. If I if I had like, if I was paralyzed or something like that, and it could help me like walk again, then yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shelly Duvall has uh, passed away. She has. Did I thought she that? was much older than 75. I did as well. She always looked like she was, I mean, she was very thin and kind of pale. I just that thought was just that, her appearance, that, like, which always led me to believe she was older. I always thought that The Shining was so far, like, so long ago that she would be older than 75. Like, I thought she'd be like 90. But yeah, I'm with you. When would I'm trying to think? When or trying to find when did The Shining come out? The Shining was released in 19 1980. 19. Wow, that's it. Okay, I thought it was in the 70s. That's prettier. I learned something today. Uh, this is for uh, Kenny Six Pack. Is uh, the good kid calls him Kevin Z Pack. <laughs> the dark side of Zen. This is for you too because you're a Zen consumer. Yes, occasionally. How tobacco-free nicotine pouches may harm your health. This is what I try to do every now and again, Adam. I try to bring some medical and some... Um... The hidden fifth P of Waddle's World, yes. PSAs. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Not PhD. No. Okay. Uh, Zen Sales Soar experts are warning about the possible risks related to the addictive product. Um, gives you a shot of dopamine so you just feel like you're energized you're happier and you're almost focused said one one user whose name is uh will llamas oh okay will llamas 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 can llamas swim i that i don't know okay uh nicotine pouches like zen have soared in popularity in recent years did you know uh where it originated zen no it's a swedish brand that was acquired by philip morris in 2022. Mm. And in the first three months of this year, more than 131 million cans were yeah, sold. Yeah, there's a shortage. That's an 80% increase from the same time of last year. You can barely find them now in places. How often do you use the product? How often do I? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say a couple times a day. I would say maybe once a day, but then some days I don't. So not very often. After about a year of using Zen, some users have experienced gastro gastrointestinal problems. I mean, are you sw you're not supposed to swallow this in. Uh, I get that, but I, in some ways, maybe even if you're not trying to swallow the, yeah. some of the products, still is consumed. I did read that they're worried about like gum erosion from it because of where you place it. Some of the negative health effects of the nicotine pouches include gastrointestinal system, uh, symptoms like nausea, gum soreness, and ulcers. Mm -hmm. And also cardiovascular risks like elevated heart rate. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just here to, to say, you know, be careful. Mm -hmm. I appreciate feel about that. that. I will probably still use it. I know it's bad. I know it's not good. Okay. There's I, a lot. Of, I'm sure the Celsius I'm drinking isn't good either. Oh, I, I, you know what? I, I gave uh, Charlie the char dog. Um, 
Chuck Wagon was in here like three weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I, I had an article about uh, you can't have too many of these highly caffeinated drinks. This isn't that highly caffeinated, Or though. these power whatever. This isn't this high, that highly caffeinated, though. What is it? This has, I think it has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is a medium or grande coffee from uh, Starbucks. It's like a grande cold brew. Okay, how many of those do you have in a day? One. That's it? Yeah. I don't believe it. Okay. I'm Do you not... see Bill Belichick is joining inside the NFL for the upcoming season? What? Nothing. There's what a lot just... of ways that could have gone with Bill what? Belichick and his current on his current goings on. I did. Yes. Doesn't that wasn't Cutler on that show? Isn't Cutler not on the show anymore? Oh, is he not? Hey, the list... Belichick joins Ryan Clark, Chad Johnson, and Chris Long. That's not uh, Jay That's Cutler. That's not Jay Cutler, who happens to be in your top five favorite Bears or uh, top five quarterbacks of all time. Yeah, they did the, uh, Carmen and Yurko did their list of lists, their hundred lists. I uh, believe we we're 56 days away from the start of the NFL season, and today was your favorite quarterbacks of all time. Favorite. Okay. And yours were? Mine were, was Mahomes was one, uh, Brady two, Manning three, Cutler four, Jalen Hurts five. And that's because of? Wow. Because of Alabama for Jalen Hurts. I would go Joe Montana one. Mm-hmm. I would go Patrick Mahomes, two, Tom Brady, three, Eli Manning. F Eli? I'm sorry, uh, Peyton Manning, four, and probably Dan Marino, five. Okay. I just, I, I, as a Bears fan, Jay Cutler's the best quarterback I've ever seen as a Bear. You're so, so hoping that changes. Yeah, like Caleb Williams could easily be number four very soon. Hopefully he is. <laughs> I hope he is. Yeah, please, from, please be. From your mouth to God's ears. Uh, the uh, U.S. men's national team is going to have a new coach after firing What's his face? Yeah, they fired Greg Berhalter. Uh, they have already uh, gotten a no from Jurgen Klopp, who was the manager of Liverpool. Was last it kind year. of a giggling no? Probably. <laughs> no. Yeah. Prob I mean, he said he was taking a year off of soccer. So until he gets a better offer than the U.S. Men's National Team. Well, what'll probably happen is yes, he'll probably get a better offer. But what is more likely to happen is that a team that is supposed to go far in the World Cup will not, and they will fire their manager, and then he'll probably take. A job like that like maybe England like I don't know if I think it's Garrett Southgate is uh, long for the job with England unless they win uh, here coming up they could win and by the, the way Euros. before we go to break uh, can you explain what the nonsense was in the Uruguay uh, Columbia game yes yeah, so night? that game uh, in, I was watching that game yeah so in Copa America yesterday uh, Columbia was playing with uh, down a man for most of the second half uh, it got very chippy towards the end. I thought the whole game was chippy. It was. Copa's very chippy. Copa is very aggressive. They play this game was, was played in the United States, right? Yeah, they all are. They're yeah, all played right. here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I believe the final is in Miami. Um, and so they, uh, at the end of the match, there was close to a fight on the field, on the pitch. The two teams were starting to go at it. Yeah. The fans were barking at each other back and forth. The uh, Colombian fans were going after the Uruguayan family section. Not, not so good. So members of the Uruguayan team, Darwin Nunez being one of them, a very prominent uh, Liverpool player, went up into the stands. And a couple other guys went up into the stands, and they said they were defending their families because they were worried about the safety of their families. They're mad at officials for not containing the other fans and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't really know how they'll be disciplined or if they can be, like in... Like, I know Liverpool already said that they need to talk to Copa America and Uruguay to see, like, how, they, how they're how they going to be disciplined and stuff. But, yeah, that's essentially that's what happened. It was nasty. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. Uh, okay, when we come back, we're going to do a little something we call uh, Florida Ooh. or Ohio. You've missed that, haven't I you? Have. Just for Adam Abdallah. That's nice. This is Waddle and Sylvie on ESPN Chicago, Chicago's home for sports. The CDGA Golf Show. Another season of bogeys, birdies, and the mulligans that 